So uh, email continues to be uh, the bane of a lot of corporate workers' lives. You know, I was just talking to John, who's a co-worker at Rackspace, and, and in our exchange server, we get a lot of spam and a lot of commercial messages, things that don't make sense. Plus, uh, if you have a back and forth with somebody, a lot of times there, there's a lot of uh, header information and a lot of useless stuff that's copied in the email, and it's sometimes hard to figure out where the important thing is in the email. Where, well, we're seeing a new company here in uh, Israel called OptiMail, and they're gonna, uh, their system makes it a lot easier to use uh, email on mobile phones. We're gonna see it right now. Who are you? Okay, so uh, I'm Shai Geva. Uh, I'm CEO at OptiMail. Um, my background is pretty much, uh, I started out with uh, uh, algorithmics, um, lots of work on uh, text analysis, uh, uh, some statistical stuff, uh, like uh, things like that. Um, went on to work, uh, was software engineer uh, at Eternity, I don't know if, uh, if you know it actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a monitoring system. Um, I did some... Uh, some background on uh, PPC stuff, uh, Google AdWords, uh, selling on eBay, uh, things like that. And uh, then I moved on to uh, Optimail, what I'm doing today. Yeah, so uh, tell me a little bit about what Optimail does. And it, uh, uh, it's meant for a corporate worker, right? Because if right, you're right. on uh, Gmail, you're probably pretty happy. But if you're a corporate worker, like my corporate account is on Exchange, and the email there is really bad. You know, definitely, so. definitely. So, so yeah. So um, when you think of the typical uh, corporate worker, um, he, he works in a company as an exchange account, and, and typically um, spends a lot of time working in uh, email that just doesn't look good, uh, and it's long. You need to scroll a lot and to find the content, the real content, and. Um, Far, far worse than, than the email being very big, uh, there's a lot of distractions. So the headers, they distract you from the actual content of the message and the signatures, you typically, you don't really want them. Yeah. So what, what we did is we decided to focus uh, our first version on uh, solving the inbox real estate problem, the email real estate problem on mobile. And uh, we want the, the users to be able to read just what they need. So. So what we, what we did is we built an engine. It knows, to, it knows how to identify um, all the parts of the email so it, it can display individual messages really nicely. Yeah. And uh, so instead- So it gets rid of, if you reply all, it gets rid of, of the, the replies and just shows the important part of the email. Of course, right? yeah. Yeah, it shows only the, only the important things. Um, uh, obviously the, the, sender, the sender picture as a, uh, as customary and uh, signatures are also we automatically learn them uh, see them a couple of times and that's it um, they're grayed out and they're folded to one line so they won't bother you and uh, I think that's the base of it to, to make it look much more concise much easier yeah. uh, it also uh, you know a lot of people s um, subscribe to Facebook emails or um, uh, emails from uh, news sources and they get flooded with these emails and they miss the important yeah, email yeah. from the boss, right? <laughs> you know, because yeah, yeah. it's hidden underneath 400 <laughs> Facebook messages, right? Yeah, and you guys have a unique uh, way of getting rid of that problem, right? Yeah, yeah. What we did um, is we automatically learn uh, which, uh, which emails are not important to you in the sense that you get a lot of them and you don't you never reply to them and they're just uh, kind of uh, promotionals or news groups that have uh, a lot of pictures etc um, so what we do um, we solve it's also a real estate problem really uh, because uh, they pollute your inbox yeah. so what you do is just group uh, all of them together into a single item so all the updates from YouTube or all the item, the updates from Facebook Everything is together in a single, in a single uh, uh, slot in the inbox. You can click it to view, uh, view the YouTube updates uh, separately from everything else. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, uh, is this a free app? And is it on Android and iPhone? Or yeah. No, it's a, it's a free app. Um, for now, uh, only Android. Uh, iPhone, obviously, in the future. Um, uh, tablets coming up. We're working on it. Yeah. 
And do I have to do anything on the server side, or is it completely just uh, load the app, tell it your Exchange server stuff? Okay, like so um, actually, that's that's something um, uh, that's very important to us. Um, we thought about uh, a lot about uh, privacy. Now, um, people usually, the, I mean, uh, uh, from my point of view, they, they care too little about the privacy. <laughs> they can give their information to pretty much everyone, but but the corporates are not like that. Uh, and a corporate does care if their email leaks. So what we did is we, we built a client only only solution, um, all the fancy fancy stuff of uh, the algorithms, uh, passing the email, etc. It's everything happens on the Android on the device itself. And um, so a corporate a corporate user, he can feel safe. He can know he's safe because uh, our server won't leak data because we don't have a server. Yeah. Right. So it's all done on the phone. No, nothing gets Everything's reported up yeah. to a cloud computing yeah. server somewhere. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Everything and is. it's a free app, right? Yeah. So how are you going to make money with that? Okay, so um, we actually we have a few a few things uh, uh, considered. Um, I don't want to get into it too much because it's not it's not consolidated enough yet. Okay, but there's uh, lots of ways to do uh, uh, different business models in the yeah. uh, ad, in the. Uh, Email client. Yeah. Um, where do you think this is going, and, and how do you do? There's lots of email boxes that are trying to do similar stuff. I know there's Hop out there that looks like a, a chat room, yeah. uh, and there's other uh, competitors out there who are trying to simplify the mobile email client. Where, where do you think this is going? We did something that nobody else does yet, um, partly because it's very hard to get it right. Uh, um, Hop, for example, which you mentioned, is very focused. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of social focused, um, very relative for light users who want to feel the chatting. And uh, for example, uh, in uh, in Hope, you get um, um, get kind of a, a kind of WhatsApp style grouping where everything is is grouped by the contacts, the which groups of contacts are in the conversation, yeah. and. We folk, we do a, a conventional, a more email conventional um, way of grouping by subject. Um, I think it's actually it's 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 kind of a working philosophy for us that we want we don't want to change the workflow of the user. Um, we don't want to force a learning curve that's uncomfortable. We want the user to feel to kind of feel a relief. You know, <laughs> opens the application, and says, Ah, okay. Yeah, that, that's what I expect it to be. I don't know why it's not like that in other places. That's what I, what I expect. That's, that's what we're shooting for. Very cool. Tell me how you funded the company and uh, how many employees you have. Um, we found a company with angels, angel investors. Um, we have uh, six guys now. Um, pretty much everybody everybody's a developer or QA. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, where do we get it? Um, Okay, so we now have, uh, it's not launched yet. Okay. Uh, we're actually giving it a facelift and we're launching it in, uh, uh, in a month, um, around a month. Um, we, have, uh, we have a beta under, uh, it's not even the same name, it's called Mailwise now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, beta on the, on the Play Store, you're welcome to get it. We'll be happy to you. Very cool. Thank you so much for coming. Thank out. you. Thanks.